Hey guys, your boy Kerberos, and welcome to my review for episode 5 of season 6 of Game of Thrones. Wow. This episode had a lot in it, didn't it? <laughs> so, let's start with the Starks and with John and Sansa. After Sansa has a little chat with little thing, her and pretty much tells him to fuck off. John and Sansa and, and all the and uh, everyone else are looking at a map. They're like, okay, these houses are loyal to here, and these houses are loyal to here. Basically, they're trying to figure out where they can build the army. That they are going to need to face the Boltons at Winterfell. Uh, I'm really gaining a lot more respect for the Sansa character because she. Not gonna lie, she's the MVP of this episode. She was brilliant in this episode. Oh, um. At first, I didn't care for her character when she was first introduced, but uh, this this season has really made her a star in the uh, in the show. Oh, so that's that's uh, that's cool. Oh, well, well, um, yeah. So oh, they're all going to. I think they're all going to different. All going around. Sansa is sending Bran to the river. And to uh, meet up with uh, the house. Who's, who's uh, Tully because the uh, brother of Catelyn has retaken River. The Riverlands and, and built up the Riverlands army. He, 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 and they're like, yeah, if we get them on our side, that's a, a nice addition to the army. So, oh. and Brian, she expresses her, you know, her concern with leaving. Sansa with people like Sir Davos, Melisandre, and um, Jorm. So, uh, yeah, Brienne's. I don't think she's uh, taken to who uh, to Jorm yet. Who knows? Maybe she will. Anyway, um. I mean, not Jorn. Jorn is someone else. Torn. Torment. Similar names. Confusing. Um, yeah. Let's stick with Starks and uh, let's go to Arya, who had another her f her fight with the uh, stick things with the uh, with the other girl. And then they fought hand to hand, and both times Arya lost. Arya got beaten again. And then the other girl told Arya, Look, Lady Stark, you're not one of us. Just go home. Obviously, he, that chick doesn't know what she's talking about. Even if Arya wanted to, she couldn't go home because she just walked right into Ramsey. He, he, and yeah, she's be in the same position that we left poor Rickon in and then the last episode. So yeah, she can't go home. Then, mm, mm, Jagan Hagar shows up to, and he and, and Arya talk about, about the history of the faceless men. And then the first face was man and all that sort of stuff. Which is a pretty cool bit of backstory to them. 
to build on what we already had. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know if that's something that was in the books. Maybe someone watching this episode in this review can tell me. Me? Anyway, um, so yeah, Arya is given a vial of, I'm assuming, poison, and she's, say, and Dragon's like, okay, here's who you have to kill, and it turns out it's an actress who is in a play playing a fake version of Cersei, which is a bit ironic, because, of course, the real Cersei is on Arya's list of people she wants to off. Now, some people are saying that this might be, you know, foreshadowing that Arya might end up killing the real Cersei. I don't think so. I, I mean, I can't see Cersei. I, I can't see Cersei surviving that long to the point where Arya will get her revenge against Cersei. I think I can see Cersei dying this season. I'm just gonna say it now. I can see her dying this season. Just gonna put that out there and uh, yeah. So Arya has to sit through watching a play giving a brief run now of, of the uh, events like the the heading of 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 uh, Ned. Although the actor who the actor who was playing the fake Joffrey, I don't think he knew anything about Joffrey because his, the actor was acting like surprise, like he pretty much what or are they trying to say Joffrey didn't call for Ned's head because I think someone can tell you he did. So Joffrey's no so someone needs to tell the people of Ross that they're, they've there's been a miscommunication of some sort. They've gotten the story wrong. Joffrey he ordered for Ned's head to be removed. He wasn't surprised. It wasn't like it was a surprise to him. It's not like oh crap. You know I didn't tell you to not remove his head. You know why'd you remove his head? I didn't tell you to do that. No, no, that was not Joffrey's character at all. At all. So yeah, that was um, was hmm, and almost in keeping with the uh, incest his themes, the the dwarf who plays he's he's uh, the fake version of Tyrion, the actor who is. Apparently, a relationship with the actress who is playing Cersei. Because, of course, why not? You know, because the Lannisters don't need any more association with incest at all. Nope. <laughs> but, yeah. So we didn't see. So uh, she's planning to poison the rum because only the actress who plays Cersei is, drinks it. it and uh, yeah. And J Jacket says, "If you're gonna be one of us, you can't ask any questions about who or why or anything like that. All you need to know is." The faithless god wants this person dead. Also, so somebody else, but mainly the faithless god. So, 
Yeah, um, I don't know if they're going to be showing us Arya poisoning the fake Cersei, or if it's going to be implied, you know, since this is our, well, this will hopefully be her first successful assassination, because she didn't quite get that in the first time she he killed somebody else, was, and then she was blinded, so, and Dang also said that she would not get a third chance, and pretty much, he said, if you don't kill all the fake Cersei, you will be the face that is taken. And yeah, couldn't a point more blunt than that. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much what happened with Arya. Let's move on now to Bran and oh my lord. What the fuck happened? So we had more flashbacks. We, Brad saw the origin of the White Walkers, and they were created by the children of the forest. Okay, and okay, um, interesting, interesting choice. So yeah, the children of forest massively fucked up. They're like, well, we made them, but to fend off you lot. To which I would say, if you're going to create something, create something to control it. Which they didn't do. And which is why the White Walkers killed them. Yeah, the children of the forest and the tree eye raven all died. And so did Hodor. Yes, if you've not seen the episode, Hodor, Hodor is dead. And so is Summer. So yeah, two, two dire wolves down in consecutive episodes. Shaggy Dog is gone. And now summer is gone. Uh, not sure where Bran and and um, Mira. I don't know where they're going to go, but I can very much say, without summer, they better get there pretty quick, or they won't be getting there at all. So, um, maybe they're going to go to her house? Maybe we'll meet maybe Brian will meet uh, Mira's father since he's such an important character maybe he veiled me at some point and maybe he Maybe Brian will have another Tower of Joy flashback in between that, and he'll see he that John that Ned comes out with John, and Ned and Mary's father is it Joseph, Joseph Reed, Aaron Reed, something like that. no, it's Aaron, Aaron, it's Aaron Reed, isn't it? Aaron Reed. So Ned and Henry come out of the top and freaking and Brandon's like, is that one? Wait a minute. Cool. So he So he might go up and see Tom and see what happened. Maybe or maybe he asks. Read, you know, explain this because these flashbacks seem to me be 
Vegas shit. But yeah, the Three Hour Raven has died. The children of Forest have died. Summer is dead. And Hodor is dead. And yeah. And the White Walkers are on the hunt for Bran and Mira. They better move quick. So yeah, that was all the Starks. Well, all the Starks that are living and whose stories were updated. We didn't see any of a uh, we didn't see anything from Winterfell in this episode. No no uh no Ramsey, no what he's doing to Rick on. God only knows. So yeah, there's that. Um in over across the narrow sea, back across the narrow sea, he Daenerys sends Joran away to who find a cure for his grace scale as after he showed it to her that he had it. And uh I find it a bit almost ironic that the only person who was previously found a cure for someone with grayscale, which was Stas Baratheon, is dead. So, it's, you know, unfortunate because if Stas had lived, maybe the German could have gotten a raven to him or asked someone. So, Jordan is either gonna have to look around, he's gonna have to go to every healer he can think of, you know. Oh. To find whoever healed Snass's daughter, um, Shireen. Obviously, Stas had a lot more money to work with. Jordan doesn't have that. All he has is a horse. Which, I don't know. Which is uh, extremely lucky they don't. Uh, they, it, uh, it can't contract grayscale, so that's, you know. Good for the horse. Good for the horse. And did anyone else notice that the uh, horse that Danny left on was the same color as the one that, uh, um, Drogo, Kyle Drogo gave her, her when they were married. So I don't know if that's a callback. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Who knows? White horses, how common are they? I don't know. I, I think brown is the most common color for a horse. I don't know how common white horses are. I don't know a lot about horses. Because... Ah, well. But, yeah, that's, uh... And then, uh, Marine... Mm -hmm. Tyrion has enlisted the help of a Red Priestess to spread the word of... of... you know, Danny brokering peace and stopping the attacks with... of this... of the Sons of the Harpy. So, there's that. And then uh, Pike, Yara and Theon have fled Pike because their uncle, who killed Balon Greyjoy, has taken the assault throne and is now like, yo, build me a thousand ships, I'll kill them, I'll marry Daenerys, and we're gonna take over all this shit. I don't see him, uh, I don't see how he's gonna marry Daenerys. Even with a thousand ships, she's gonna be like, yeah, no, not really, I have these dragons. I don't really need you. Like, I can get ships from elsewhere. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. All in all, a fantastic episode. 
um, sad that it's uh, the end of Hodor. He was a really uh, enjoyable character. You don't, you don't really get a lot of characters who just say one word. Like, you either get a character in a show who speaks a lot of lines, which is pretty much most of them, or you might get a silent character who doesn't speak a word. Heard. Heard. But, uh, Hodor, all he does, all he says is Hodor. And they actually explained why he was like that. So, that was pretty interesting. So, yeah. All in all, fantastic episode. Definitely, he probably going to rewatch this a few times between now and next weekend. Why not? But, until... Well, next time, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content if you are new to the channel. Let me know what you thought of of episode 5 of season 6 in the comment section below. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.